What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making baked mac and cheese. That's right, the ultimate comfort food. Baked mac and cheese. I cannot wait. We're going to use all kinds of cheeses and all kinds of good stuff. There's not that many ingredients, but man, it tastes oh so good. So stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. If you're a current subscriber, thank you guys for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with some macaroni, large elbows. I prefer large elbows, but you can use regular elbows or shells or whatever you like, but I like the large elbows. Just follow the instructions on the uh, the box. I like to add some uh, some salt here, kosher salt, and that's it, no oil, stir it up. And I like to cook mine to done. I'm not really crazy about al dente, so I cook them to just before done because when you bake them, they're gonna cook a little bit more. So that's it, they're ready to go, you strain them. And I like to add in a couple tablespoons of butter. Gives them a little bit of flavor slows down the cooking process and just stir it up and uh, let these guys rest off to the side once that butter melts and next step we're going to show you our cheeses medium cheddar cheese these are blocks gouda not blocks slices uh, and some monterey jack that i had left over just for some color on the top and then of course Velveeta original cheese the best so we're gonna start off with our roux we're gonna make here. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You just wanna get this butter melted real quick. No, no big deal here. Once you get that melted, then we're gonna stir in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And you can whisk this, you can wooden spoon it, whatever you guys want to do but you just want to mix this up for a couple minutes get that flour nice and incorporated with the butter get it cooked a little bit and uh, you want this on like medium to medium high heat so it's bubbling a little bit there and you'll know after a couple minutes it's ready to add the milk so we're getting close here you do not want it to turn brown the longer you let it go the longer uh, the browner it will get so we add, I have three cups of whole milk here, and you want to start off slow. You want to get that um, that roux kind of combined and, and mixed together so you don't have big chunks. And just kind of mix that together uh, nice and easy, and then slowly add your three cups of milk. It's better if you also, if you leave the milk out for a little bit so it's not cold. If you throw in cold milk, it's going to kind of slow down the whole process. So. Just leave it out so it gets to room temperature. Stir it up. It'll incorporate. And then this is going to take a little bit of time here. You want to get this milk uh, almost to the steaming point just before boiling, basically. You don't want it boiling because then it's going to start burning on the bottom. But you want a, a nice steam just like it looks like here. And then we're going to start adding our cheeses. We have our Velveeta right there. I chopped them up into to little chunk sizes so they melt a little bit better. And on the other side, we have the Gruyere cheese that, that I've uh, we're gonna put that in after the Velveeta is already melted so we just stir this um, Velveeta together this takes a while now you can uh, turn up the heat adjust the heat but this took a, t took me a good five six minutes and then uh, after that I added in the Gruyere as well as cheddar cheese and I'll put the amounts in the description below and now this melted fast once I put in the Gruyere and the cheddar that's it, no time, this was already melted and ready to go. And that's it, our cheese sauce is pretty much done after that. Just wanna mix it together, make sure it's right, and then the last step is to season it, to make sure that we have good taste. You don't want boring mac and cheese. So we're gonna add just a little bit of salt uh, and a little bit of, uh, there you go, two tablespoons of salt and a couple of tablespoons of paprika. That's right, paprika. It's gonna give it a little bit of color. So you could add the paprika earlier, like when you're adding the milk in the beginning stages, less clumps. Probably should have done that, but that's okay. Just stir it out as best you can. Remove any clumps if you need to. 
and look how that cheese looks. That is the perfect consistency right there. Next step, you want to put the macaroni in the stop. Okay, so I went to go put the macaroni in the bowl I was cooking in and realized I was making a huge mistake because I was going to make a total mess. So I decided to change my tactic just to give you an outlook of how it looked. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm trying to put uh, 10 pounds of potatoes in an eight pound bag here and it's not working because they're kind of stuck together and I decided, you know what, let's go to plan B. Put them back in the big pot that they came in and then we are going to add our cheese mixture, our cheese sauce into that big pot. Look how much room we have there now. It's much better, much better option. And just start stirring that around. Make sure you get it all out, stir that around, give it a nice mix so that it gets all combined together in those uh, macaronis and looking great. Beautiful. Next step, we put it in our pot that we planned on cooking it to begin with. So look at that, comes out much better much easier to deal with and they fit better too i got the whole 16 ounce pack of macaroni in that pot so it looks beautiful there we go so now we just want to kind of move uh, pat them down just a tad and then we're going to add our cheese to the top this is cheddar cheese and that jack monterey jack cheese just for some white color so we've got the yellow, the white, and the macaronis, and the cheese sauce. We're gonna get some beautiful coloring once we put this in the oven. So here we go. We're gonna pat this down just a tad, like I mentioned before. And we are gonna bake these in a preheated oven, covered. So we wanna put this tin foil on top very loosely, just so it doesn't burn on top because uh, we want to give it like a head start basically for the bubbling on the bottom of the uh, the macaroni and the cheese mixture underneath all that good stuff so 15 minutes 375 pull it out take off the top here's what it looks like just like that it looks beautiful just like that but watch what happens when we stick it back in uncovered for only 20 more minutes so uncovered 375 no peekaboo cooking guys <laughs> And here is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Unreal. I say we go check it out. Hoo wee! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, all I can say is wow. This came out absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the colors, the whites, the yellows, the browns. It looks absolutely delicious. I did let it cool down. I. I would highly suggest that because this thing came out hot. So let it cool down for at least 15 minutes or so, which I did. Uh, and now we're gonna dig in. So let me see how this looks. Oh my goodness. Cut myself a piece here. Oh, it's nice and crunchy on the top and the sides. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Let's give you a little close up. All right. I cannot wait anymore. I've got to give this a taste. So here we go. Look at the cream. The cheesy, mmm, mmm, mmm. You can taste that gruyere. Look at that. That's the money piece right there. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That cheddar. And of course, that Velveeta. Wow. <laughs> this came out absolutely phenomenal. Well worth the effort. Not a lot of ingredients, but takes a little time to put together. But once you get it all together, it's just a matter of waiting till it's done. And it came out absolutely perfect. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.